Hi, welcome to online tutorial series on digital signal processing using MATLAB and Python. In our previous video, we talked about the theoretical concept of uh, uh, sinusoidal signals and exponential signals, and we also talked about the concept of a digital frequency. So in this video, we will learn how to generate these sequences in Python and or how to generate this sinusoidal signal or exponential signals in Python. So for that, just open Python and start the spider. That is the Python ID. And you can also download the source code of this Python from our website, which is www.jcbrlabs.org. Further, we also provide online training classes on Python and all the techno latest technologies. And further, please support us by subscribing the video or subscribe subscribing to our channel so that we can continue keep making these free tutorial videos. So, without wasting time, let's start. On so, open Spider and create a new file and first thing we'll do we'll save this file at desktop by having a test let's say by test name and let's save it okay so as in our last python video we learned how to generate the various sinusoidal signals so let's start with importing some of the required libraries that first is matplotlib dot pyplot as plt and then import numpy as np and then import from math import pi okay now first thing we'll do we'll close all the things so plt dot close and we need to provide a argument into it like all so first thing we'll generate uh, generate sinusoidal or a digital sinusoidal signal digital sinusoidal signal okay so for that first we'll need to generate uh, a range or the sample numbers as we discussed in our last video so let's generate some numbers and store them into n and we'll use np.arrange so I hope now you may be familiar with this command and uh, let's generate from 100 to 100 and let's try to run this code into this console okay uh, right now it is defining error because till now we have not executed this code so let's first execute this code and then run this particular code okay so this n is generated and we can check and the explorer window okay that's fine now we'll generate our sine wave so let's say x equals to um, sine is available in np sine uh, and we have created this digital frequency 0 0.1 into n so i will have a look on this np uh, we go to paint so if you remember our last lecture then you will find we defined uh, sine wave as omega n right so this this is a digital signal like xn equals to sine omega n so this omega was digital frequency so if i am writing it like 0 0.1 so this is 0 0.1 is the 0 0.1 radian per second okay so that's what we have defined here Okay. now we will create the stem plot of it so plt dot stem and it will take two argument at n and x and then let's make a title plt dot title uh, digital sinusoidal signal and then let's make plt dot x label uh, that is sample number and then plt dot y label amplitude okay and then make grid on so plt dot grid and make it true 
okay so let's run it hope everything goes fine yep so this is our signal uh, our digital sinusoidal signal uh, which is periodic having a, a frequency of 0 0.1 radian per second so as we discussed if this figure is not popping up in the next window or if this figure is coming up in this ipython console you can change it by going to tools then preferences go to ipython console select graphics and from this graphic backend select this automatic and after that restart the spider and python then those uh, changes will came into effect okay coming back to our program so this is how we will generate a digital signal but the problem is uh, or the next thing is uh, if we want to simulate exactly the real time signals like uh, someone says okay generate a signal of 2 hertz right so this 2 hertz is defined in time domain as we discussed uh, from this signal you can't define if we say it is a 0 0.1 hertz, uh, 1 radian per second samples so you cannot exactly define okay what is the frequency of this signal in time domain whether it is a 10 hertz signal 1 hertz signal or 0 0.1 hertz signal so generally the specification comes into this category like you have to generate a 2 hertz signal so 3 hertz signal or 10 hertz signals right so we'll generate this analog signal into python so it is a kind of ambiguity like we say it as analog signal but when we are talking about a computer so in computer everything is a digital so ultimately we are generating a digital signal but that is a kind of sampled version from the uh, from time domain signal or it looks like a real time signal or uh, analog signal so for that uh, first of all we need to generate a time axis so let's first generate analog signal so first of all we need to generate a time axis so or prior to it we, let's define a sampling frequency so suppose we want to generate a 2 hertz signal so sampling frequency should be greater than 4 hertz so for being on safe side or to give us liberty to do some experiments with this uh, frequency let's take a sampling frequency at 100 hertz right and let's make a comment here and that is sampling frequency okay now uh, we need to generate a time axis so time axis means because uh, we are sampling it so there will be certain samples over it and those samples index uh, will be kind of uh, zero point this one so this uh, we are having a 100 hertz sampling frequency so the time sampling interval will be 0 0.01 second so this will be 0 second this is 0 0.01 second the next sample will be 0 0.02 second and so on so that is why we can say it as a time axis or the digital time axis that is tn so ultimately what we will be doing uh, generally it is given as omega nt so we will generate this omega nt directly so let's generate it so we, what we will do we will create np dot arrange so from let's say we will generate a two second of duration so we will generate 0 to 2 numbers at a difference of 1 by fs so we have directly by this command we have directly taken care of this anti component okay now once we have generated this uh, time axis now we will generate a signal np dot sign that is 2 into pi we have already imported pi into signal frequency okay let's define a signal frequency let's say f equals to 2 hertz so uh, signal frequency KVN frequency in this hertz so 2 pi f into n okay that's it now let's plot and this time let's make it a, a simple plot command n comma y and then make title uh, that is okay let's have a look here uh, well, let's uh, make a title uh, 
analog sinusoidal don't confuse with analog term I am repeating it again and again so now let's plot X label now this X label will be in time and at 2 in seconds and then make Y label Y label symbol will be amplitude okay and then we'll make plt dot grade true so let's hope everything goes fine okay okay we have not created another figure so generally in python everything clear remains hold on so let's make plot figure okay we need to provide the number yeah. so this is analog sinusoidal signal of two second duration with a sampling frequency of 100 hertz you can also uh, create a stem plot like this if you want to make it uh, as a sample version looks like a sample version okay. so uh, let's change the sampling frequency to 10 hertz uh, we'll discuss a little ab uh, things about it so this is a 10 hertz sinusoidal wave now as per the sampling theorem uh, mass signal uh, sampling frequency should be greater than twice of the mass signal frequency so that means if we try to generate a 50 hertz signal so as per sampling theorem it should be generated correctly but uh, if we try to run it in the simulation environment this will no longer be a sine wave even let's change it to 45 hertz still as per sampling theorem everything goes fine but uh, again this is not the sinusoidal signal even it looks like a amplitude modulated wave so in uh, digital or in simulation portion it is a thumb rule you should uh, uh, you should choose the sampling frequency uh, uh, five times that of the mass signal frequency so uh, up to 20 Hertz this simulation environment will be able to display your wave correctly but if you uh, go above it it will won't be able to uh, make it looks like as a sine wave so let's say if we are using 15 Hertz so it is more than five times so wave would be fine still yes so generally take the five times uh, this sampling frequency five times that of the signal frequency make it a thumb rule for you now moving forward now let's we will generate uh, exponential signal so as we discussed in theory there are two kind of exponential signal like real exponential signals and the complex exponential signal so this sinusoidal and cosinusoidal wave are the uh, a cosinusoidal signal is a real com part of the complex exponential and this sine wave is the complex part of the complex exponential signal as we discuss or imaginary part of the complex exponential signal as we discussed in the theory class so in this we will generate a real exponential signal of uh, which were of the nature of a to the power n right where a is an in number between 0 to inf minus infinity to infinity so let's generate it let's first define a and let's choose it as uh, 0 0.9 and again we need to define n so let's generate the sample index so arrange and p dot arrange will start from as a difference of 1 so make it minus 10 to 50 let's say and then we'll simply generate the signal let's say z equals to n a to the power n right and again let's first create a figure and then make a stamp plot of it plot plt dot stamp and that is n comma z and then make a title hmm, exponential signal and then plt dot x label uh, sample number and then 
plt dot y label as an amplitude okay, and then plt dot grid true right so now let's generate it okay let us run some error where is the okay this is the y label yeah oops it seems like okay it is we have just multiplied so if we want to make it a power so we need to provide a double asterisk sign then now it is a to the power and so in python single asterisk is a simple the multiplication so yeah so now it is a complex exponential signal or decaying exponential so it is pretty obvious because number is less than zero point or less than one so it will be a decreasing function and if you look at careful at zero index it is exactly one which is exactly true so let's do some experiment with it let's change this 0 0.9 to 0 0.2 and it looks like what happens uh, number goes very high so it is nearly 10 to power 7 range and then it is reducing very fast so obviously as number approaches towards zero its uh, in, uh, decrease rates keeps on increasing similarly if we increase the number greater than one it will be now exponentially increasing signal so let's say yes so at 50 index it is going up to more than 8000 near about 8000 so let's try to decrease the numbers range yeah so it is a complexly exponential increasing function now we can also have a special property of it if we make it negative number so what will happen this negative number will be positive for even values of n and this negative number will be negative for odd values of n so now we'll get a kind of alternate values first positive number then second uh, negative number positive number and negative number let's see how it looks like so yeah so positive negative positive negative. so for even values of n it is positive number for odd values of n it is a negative number so if it is negative your graph will looks like this so let's make it uh, to 0 0.9 the original signal which we from where we started and let's make the range from minus 10 to 50 so if we generate it again yeah all these are the alternate numbers so it is a decaying function but alternately decaying due to this negative sign of n so this is how you can perform several other experiments or you can try uh, to generate several other sequences as well on your own like even odd signal odd signal so all this now you can do by having this uh, code so further again you can download the source code of this video from uh, the download section uh, at our website which is www.jcbrolabs.org and also support us by subscribing to our channel so that we can continue to make uh, uh, these free lecture series okay so i hope you understand it and if you have any doubt then you can comment us below this video so that's it for this video thank you